daughter, instead he makes a stunning discovery. These two man-made accidents eventually produce the same conditions perfect for a geyser, and sure enough minerals and water started spewing out to create what is now one of the only man-made geysers known in the world. Facebook, awesome nature aptly named Fly Geyser, it has grown in the last 50 decades into a colorful, alien-looking mound of various spewing spouts. The geyser is said to measure 5 feet high by 12 feet wide and is covered with thermophilic algae and hues of green and red. Unlike Old Faithful which erupts at certain intervals, Fly Geyser has a constant water stream which shoots out as high as a 5 feet. So even though Fly Geyser doesn't have that wow factor of being large, it does make up for it in the way it makes one feel like they are on an alien planet. For those of you who haven't yet made it to Yellowstone, here is Old Faithful showing off. Fly Geyser is not well known because it still sits on private property which has kept tourism to a minimum. Fly Geyser has proved there is such a thing as a happy drilling accident. Lowlife convinces two girls to look for lost jacket in woods, tattooed man jumps into action. Usually words like rebellious, goth, and counterculture come to mind when we see a person tatted up with ink all over their body. Viper McDonald is one of those people whose love for tattoos even has his face covered in a pretty cool design. Recently while hanging out in one of the local parks with his son, Viper noticed a suspicious man lurking about trying to lure two kids to the woods. Two young girls were playing in the park when this man came by on his bicycle and asked for their help in looking for his lost jacket in the woods nearby. They immediately questioned the man and made sure he stayed away from the girls. Sources claim that they restrained the man until the police arrived on the scene. Here is what the mom again expressing her gratitude, we will never be able to express our thanks to him and his family enough. This is the people you should be sharing and talking about, not the beast that's currently in a jail cell. Facebook, Barnsley Community Watch It takes a village to raise a kid no matter where you live in the world and that village is made up of many characters both good and bad. In this case of the two girls who were having a great day on the playground, the person who came to their rescue was someone that society might have seen with an eye of suspicion just because he had chosen an unconventional way to express himself. Tattoos don't make a person bad, it's what is inside their head that can cause trouble. Farmer spots rabbit hole on his land then discovers it leads to a mysterious ancient world. At first glance, the hole didn't really seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Lying just on the other side of that rabbit hole is an elaborate network of caves called the Cainton Caves, believed to be built by the Knights Templar Catholic Military Order approximately 700 years ago. There are what looks like round barrels or cauldrons carved out of sandstone, too. Screenshot via YouTube there are even faces and bodies of figures carved out of the sandstone walls that are a bit creepy when spied in the dark with only a candle to light the way, throwing shadows everywhere. There are ledges and nooks carved out of the walls, too. Because strangers kept showing up wanting to continue practicing black magic and carry out other rituals in present time, the landowners had the entrances sealed. These magical caves were meant to be kept secret for centuries. The candid interview with Princess Diana that forever changed the way the world viewed her. Diana, who is perhaps the most revered British royal in history, took that opportunity to speak openly and candidly about many causes and things that were close to her heart. Instagram Princess Diana forever what's come to light lately of this shocking admittance by Diana, is that even though no one pressured her to admit the truth, she did regret being so candid after the interview was already done. According to Patrick Jeffson, a broadcaster and reporter, a week before the interview was to be broadcasted Diane was, not at all confident about what she had done. I think the scales fell from her eyes and suddenly what had been rather a subversive or daring scheme, or however they, the BBC, 
had dressed it up for her, it suddenly in the cold light of day didn't look like such a good idea. Instagram, Princess Diana Forever According to Jeffson, this was the first time Diana had openly admitted to the drift that existed between her and the royal family, and she was now getting worried of how the people around the world would react to this truth. In spite of her strength and need to follow her heart, Diana wasn't the type to be slanderous. As Patrick recalled, I knew from her general demeanor, her fidgeting, that she was not at all confident about what she had done and that the full implications were dawning on her. So you had this mixture of anxiety and defiance. I think by the time of the broadcast, she deeply regretted it, not least because it did nothing to advance her cause. Here is a snippet of that interview in case you have never seen it before. It's hard to believe that it was almost 20 years ago that Princess Diana met her tragic end in a car crash in Paris, France. Diana embodied all the grace of a monarch without the pretense shared by some of her British royal family. Diana would have been 56 years old had it not been for that crash. IRS scammer has no idea he's speaking to a cop, conversation immediately goes viral. One such phone call was foolishly made to Kyle Roeder, a police officer with the Eau Claire Police Department in Wisconsin. The officer guessed it was a scam, so he called the man back, recording the entire exchange. Officer Roeder asked the man if he was with the IRS and said he'd received the message to return the man's call that he had been accused of fraud or something. The man purportedly representing the IRS confirmed he was with the agency and requested a case number. Officer Roeder said he was never provided with one, so the man said he could look it up if Officer Roeder provided him with his address. The man mumbled that he would be arrested after their working hours are over. Officer Roeder asked if he could simply make a payment at his local IRS office. I'm really sorry to say, but your local office doesn't have your case file anymore. Your case file has been handed to us, because you're being investigated by our department. Officer Roeder then requested the man's name and badge number, and posed a big question. In some emergency cases, we do make phone calls so that we can contact the taxpayer. Facebook, Eau Claire PD however. Detective Don Henning with the Eau Claire County Sheriff's Office pointed out that his office, which issues warrants, has never handled such a request from the IRS. The Sheriff's Office does not receive information from the IRS or warrants for citizens based on phone calls like this. This is truly a scam. Sadly, this is a common scam carried out by fake IRS agents and other false government representatives. Most people can't find the lady in the middle's legs in this viral photo, can you? If you do a quick count of the legs and match it up to the number of women pictured, the math doesn't add up. The lady in the middle is missing her limbs. There's nothing but empty space where a pair of skinny jeans clad legs should be. Even the women in the photo had a hard time figuring out what happened to Anna Mantifel's legs. Facebook can you spot the baby one creative reddit user finally solved the missing legs puzzle by putting their digital crayon skills to use. Outlining each of the ladies and their legs in different colors, the upgraded photo shows us exactly where the missing gams went. Her right leg is hidden behind a pair of black jeans, which is being worn by the woman sitting at the end of the couch. Problem solved. Imgur Superman is known as the Man of Steel but these women must have legs of steel. If you take a closer look at the bench puzzle, the three girls aren't actually sitting on a bench, or anything at all for that matter. Police arrest woman for meth, drug test comes back and they're immediately embarrassed. When a young woman from Commerce was stopped in Gainesville, Georgia, Police officers were suspicious of her spoon that she said was stained with spaghetti sauce. Inside her bag was the spoon with a clear crystal-like substance. The officer indicated his suspicion. I found it strange that she would eat spaghetti sauce with a metal spoon while riding in a vehicle, and then put the spoon back in a bag, 
I tested the spoon with a field test kit, and the crystal-like substance on the spoon showed a positive indication for methamphetamine. They also found a glass smoking apparatus in her bag. It was so stressful. Nobody believed me. I said I had spaghetti os on my spoon. Nobody believed that. Everybody thought it was hilarious, but that was exactly what it was. Flicker, Ryan Ashley explained that she had been riding around in a car with friends and she threw the spaghetti os can in the trash. Because she was eaten straight out of the can, she tossed the spoon in her bag. The official crime lab report showed there were no controlled substances on her spoon that had been submitted for testing. She couldn't make it to all of the appointments, so she was arrested again, even though she knew in her heart the spoon was stained with spaghetti os. Luke Bryan posts a photo online, he immediately gets a warning from the government. Country music star Luke Bryan recently found himself in hot water with the Federal Trade Commission over a picture he posted to his personal Instagram account. Luke wasn't the only celebrity to receive the warning from the FTC. Apparently, Luke posted a picture of himself holding a fishing rod in a cabless establishment. Seems innocent, right? Well, the FTC didn't think so. Instagram, Luke Bryan according to Billboard. After sending the snapshot off into cyberspace, Luke received a letter from the Federal Trade Commission. The letter began, I am writing regarding your attached Instagram post endorsing cabla's. You posted a picture of yourself in a cabla's store holding a fishing rod. You wrote, which one should I get? Hash H dot F dot e. Luke's hashtag is in reference to his personal clothing line which is named after his hit song Huntin' Fishin' and Lovin' Every Day. Instagram, Luke Bryan Billboard explained that Luke Bryan was one of 45 celebrities to receive a letter from the FTC for violating product endorsement guidelines. The celebrities were sought out by the FTC after posting pictures of themselves endorsing various products and interests on their personal social media sites, without disclosing the fact that they were compensated for doing so. The FTC investigation was sparked by complaints from three different advocacy groups, all of which were bothered by the celebrities' non-disclosed method of advertising via their personal accounts. Which side of the controversial post do you stand on? Man stumbles upon strange object on beach, he's terrified when he realizes what it is. Do you know what it is? Facebook Best shark videos millions of years ago in our distant past, monsters of the deep really did exist. Back in the dinosaur days, the earth seemed to favor giant-sized everything. The six-inch long tooth he discovered came from an adult shark, and it's so large, it nearly overpowers his hand. Facebook, Liz Jackson collecting old teeth is usually something that only tooth fairies do for fun. Once you find out what a megalodon tooth can fetch on the open market, you'll probably wish that you had one of your own. Believe it or not, there are quite a few megalodon loving tooth fairies out there that will pay big bucks for your fossilized find. Your childhood tooth fairy probably never shoved $895 underneath your pillow in exchange for your yucky front tooth. That's the going rate for a megalodon tooth. Now, that's something to dream about. Facebook, West End collections owe the size of that tooth. Just thinking about gigantic prehistoric sea monsters is enough to give you goosebumps.